Hi everyone, Debbie here, Jackie Rander Insights for Sunday the 23rd of February 2023. Now we have three cards that are talking about the lack and I'm getting that today we're a little bit down on ourselves, a little bit flat perhaps. So just know in the thoughts department, five of your thoughts and experiences and different things that you've learned along the way are cracking, they're good, they're really great creative which is the orange, the red dots on there, passion drive, but you keep on looking back at what went wrong in the past. A failed business, a failed relationship, something that has stuck with you and you keep on going around on that loop, on that record, and it's like a scratched record that you can't jump over that hurdle and literally take that step forward and look forward. See how he's looking in the background there? He's looking in the past. You need to look forward because the next cards are saying the same thing. Here is the four of... Pentacles. Pentacles are all about how we manage and function in our life and our actual security that we get from a great home and location and feeling really good in the school system with your kids. The community suits you monetary wise, you know, you've got a nice house, car, whatever. So four is about building strong, sturdy foundations for the future. But guaranteed, if you hang on to your money like this fellow is, underneath your feet, you're gripping hold of your every penny, uh, hiding it in your hat. It's literally saying that you're focusing on the lack. So the more you go, oh, I can't go to the movies because it's too dear and I can't, like you're going to miss out on life, number one, but also you're going to attract that lack of energy, that lower vibrating state where you do get a big bill for your car then or another you know, thing comes in that you're unexpected and you go see and it verifies it so you've got to nearly have that abundance outlook about everything and then you will attract attract abundance because then we have the cups now five of cups is the same thing looking down his aura is imploding he's not got a nice strong big frequency and big big vibrating energy field around him because he's looking at the past looking at spilt wine here instead of spilt milk Hey, there's so many opportunities still to come. If you can walk across that bridge, make that big step forward to say, right, I'm going to change my patterns. I'm not going to keep on putting myself down and that self-criticism has got to go away. I've got to change some things. And changing one or two things per week or each week, maybe change one thing. And eventually you will, you will, by the end of a couple of months, you'll be doing something different. You'll be eating better. You'll be doing that walk every day. So you'll be fitter and, and more energetic to be able to put some of those amazing thoughts that you've got in your arms there into place and start having some faith in yourself. That's what I'm getting from today's cards. So seven and four is 11 and another five is 16. So let me just double check. There's five, nine, yep, 16. One, six is seven, and seven is mind and creativity. So you can use your mind to get out of this funk, to get out of this hole. It's up to you to imagine, and that's what they call manifesting, imagine every single day what your life is going to be like, but you pretend that you're living it now so that eventually in six months' time you go, hang on. I am doing that now, that did happen. I did end up putting a pool in like I did there years ago. Never thought I would ever put a pool in. Got that idea, focused on it, things happened and that fell into place to allow me to get a great pool in my backyard that I've loved and used and incorporated in, into my business and everything. So, so many positive things can happen using your mind and creativity. Have a lovely day everyone.